All right, what's up? Sorry, I gotta. I should have had this already. All right, so it's pretty much easy how we do this. Um, pretty much standard. Um, the only thing is, we do not have to sand these. Um, what we do. Um, is we just paint it. This is already really smooth. If you sand this, it'll become fuzzy and you will not like that on your, uh, if you, even if you're just using this for a painting or acrylic um, painting or oil painting or a pour or a alcohol ink, um, just leave it. Um, just take your basic, if you like basic, you can get good kind. We normally use PPG uh, dead flat uh, but I'm trying out this Valspar Pro. It's just interior flat white paint. That's it. Typical roller. And uh, yeah. So what we'll do. This is just one of those simple. If you are just starting out. Sometimes you do have to... Uh, sand your boards but this is MDF it's really smooth um, super lightweight but durable um, this is what ours look like on the back this is uh, MDF this is LDF super lightweight um, we have a uh, a cut on the inside here that allows you to hang it in any direction um, we do have a new cut that's coming out. It's basically a, a V, kind of a V shape. Um, but it's basically the same purpose where you can hang it any way you like. It's about an inch. This is a 24 inch. Super lightweight. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to dip this in here. Put this on. Like I said, this is the first time I've used this paint, so I don't know how. Which I'm really not look, looking like I'm going to like this. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe I just need to shake it up a little bit more. I should have had him shake it over at... Uh, I think I got this at Lowe's. I'm not sure how it'll take. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump some of this out. Yeah, mix it. I'm not sure how opaque this stuff is. I'm gonna use this from the back of the can. See if it's any more opaque. <laughs> yeah, I think I should have just shaken it up a little bit more. I have another board um, and what I'm doing sometimes when you when you're rolling out when you're roller and you press you see you get a see if I can do this and you get a line right here you can avoid that by starting to the left you, you'll get this line but 
by by kind of lifting this edge up, it'll kind of feather that out. So if you just go right over that, and you get rid of all those ugly lines. There you go, then you're nice smooth surface. That light, Ellen. Oh, I know why. It's because there's lights above it. I need to turn the ceiling fan off. That drives me crazy. I was like, what is, why is that? That seems familiar. <laughs> paint your sides just like you would any other canvas. We're going to have to fix the front because this paint's going over the side. Yeah. It's going to be all right. So let's just go over this one more time. I'm not a fan of this roller. Whatever kind of roller, if you uh, if you have an awesome roller that you like, leave it in the description. Let me know about it, because this is a terrible roller. With pre-wet multiple surface interior. I don't know about that. I think this is for... Uh, well, so like every kind of surface I take it. All right, let's. Uh, we I have another cradle board here. This is a, one of our smaller ones. I believe this is a 15 inch. I think this is leftover from our class. I think I just didn't mix it up enough. Let's do the side first. Uh, with this, I've never had a problem with it going over the edge like that, so. Huh. do we ever sand them we do um, after this stage after the first coat let it dry if you want um, air dryer you can dry it with the blow dryer heat gun um, sand it with 400 If you, if you want to cover, I mean, this is still a little transparent and it'll probably be more transparent when it dries, but uh, let it dry, sand it, do one more coat, sand that with 220, then 400, and you're ready to paint. Um, what I normally do is put a layer of spray gesso over the top of this. Um, airbrush takes really well to it. Alcohol inks take really well to it. Um, but if you're just gonna resin over it or pour acrylic over it, just leave it as it is. Um, and it works awesome. And there you go. Um, and we suggest that you do this 24 hours before you do paint on it. Let it rest, let it degas. I guess that's what it's called. 
just in case, you know, wherever you're at. Um, and then do your artwork. So there you have it. Thanks for watching, y'all. You rock. I don't know if I can take this out of here. <laughs> Thanks, you guys.